Greetings everyone! You're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. The ARC U-4 Global Hawk is a large-scale unmanned aerial vehicle that the United States Air Force and Navy use for long-range, high-endurance intelligence gathering, target identification, and general reconnaissance. It was developed by Northrop Grumman and was known as Tier 2 Plus during development. Its goal is to support joint combat forces in global peacetime, contingency, and wartime operations by offering a wide range of ISR collection capabilities. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the RQ-4 Global Hawk drone. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. In 1995, Global Hawk was created as a demonstration of an advanced technology concept. It took its first flight on February 28, 1998. Since November 2001, it has been operationally deployed to support overseas contingency operations. The R in the RQ-4 name stands for the Department of Defense designation for reconnaissance, and the Q is for a manned aircraft system. The term 4 refers to a group of specially designed, remotely piloted aircraft systems. The Global Hawk has the most distinctive design of any current operational UAV. The aircraft is run by a satellite-managed data link, and it has an internal sensory suite provided by Raytheon and Hughes. This enables full information transfer in the form of video and photos to sources on the ground. The Global Hawk, like the rest of modern UAV, uses GPS to track its location and protect its ally pilots from adversary bad weather threats. The drone has a payload capacity of 3,000 pounds and is powered by an Allison Rolls-Royce F-137RR100 engine with 7,600-pound force thrust. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is designed to fly at high altitudes of up to 60,000 feet. The fuselage is made of aluminum semi-monocoque and has a V-tail. The wings are made of composite materials. The Global Hawk unmanned aerial vehicle system also includes the RQ-4 air vehicle, which offers a range of features such as sensor packages and communication systems. A ground component that includes a launch and recovery component Mission control gear and ground communication gear completes the system. As a result, the pilot on the ground controls the aircraft remotely and makes full use of all of its capabilities. These pilots are given the same instrument data and have the same obligations as pilots in basic aircraft. Moreover, this drone is incredible since it can survey up to 40,000 square miles of land every day, which is the longest flight by a United States Air Force aircraft without refueling and covers an area the size of South Korea or Iceland. There have been several iterations of the Global Hawk with different features and capabilities. The 7 Block 10 aircraft were purchased but were withdrawn in 2011, and Global Hawk is currently deployed in three distinct blocks. The Battlefield Airborne Communication Node payload was then carried by 3 Block 20s reconfigured to an EQ-4 communication relay configuration. Synthetic aperture radar, infrared, electro-optical and high and low band SIGINT sensors are all carried by Block 30, a multi-intelligence platform. The newest generation, the Block 40, went into service in 2016 and features an active electronically scanned array radar and a radar technology insertion program that provides even more detailed data. It's interesting to note that the RQ-4 Global Hawk Block 30 and Block 40, with a total wingspan of 130 feet, are the largest unmanned aircraft in the United States. This drone is very pricey, with Block 40 costing up to $233 million. It has a maximum speed of 340 knots, the range of this UAV is around 12,300 nautical miles, with an endurance of more than 34 hours. Its gross weight is about 32,250 pounds. In terms of operational history, the aircraft established its first world record while still in development. On April 24, 2001, the Global Hawk became the first unmanned aircraft to fly across the Pacific Ocean from Edwards Air Force Base in the United States to Royal Australian Air Force Base Edinburgh in Australia. This 22-hour flight also set the world record for absolute distance flown by UAV at 8,214.44 miles. The Global Hawk has also been employed during several conflicts, such as the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, as well as other non-combat-related occasions. It covered the territory under the control of the U.S. Central Command, which encompasses the Middle East, some regions of Africa, Central Asia, and some regions of South Asia. 
The United States Air Force received 37 Global Hawk aircraft from Northrop Grumman by November 2012. In March 2014, 42 Global Hawks were in service around the world, with the United States Air Force using 32 of them. In the same year, the Global Hawk took part in Operation Inherent Resolve, an international military effort against the Islamic State of Iraq. The ARC U-4 provided real-time pictures and intelligence throughout the mission. The aircraft can also create long-range targets, identify friendly and hostile forces, and follow the movement of hostile equipment. There is also a new application for Global Hawk. NASA, the Navy, and other foreign partners have all employed the Global Hawk. After the Navy won a competition for Large Area Maritime Surveillance UAV in 2005, it obtained two ARC U-4A aircraft and a $1.16 billion contract to construct a naval variant three years later. In September 2010, the Navy officially renamed the ARC U-4 and the North Grumman MQ-4C Trident. The primary difference between the ARC U-4 Navy variant and the ARC U-4 Air Force variant is the wing which is specifically designed to withstand the pressures of rapidly falling altitude. Ordinary Global Hawks fly at a high altitude to conduct surveillance missions. The Triton may fly to a height of 50,000 feet to get a panoramic view, and then rapidly drop to 10,000 feet to obtain a closer look at the target. Triton also performs continuous maritime surveillance, conduct search and rescue operations, flies over huge ocean and coastal regions, and serves as a general complement to the Navy's Boeing P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. As of March 2022, Global Hawk is now operated by Japan, with its most recent capability being a renovated ground station under the Ground Segment Modernization Program of Northrop Grumman. Lastly, let's discuss its replacement. The development of the drone's replacement seems to be in its infancy, but the project is still secret and not much is known about it. The military chief of staff, Air Force General Charles Brown, requested authority to retire all 24 Block 20 and Block 30 Global Hawk drones from the American arsenal in a speech to the House Appropriations Committee on May 7, 2021. The reason for this is that the Global Hawk fleet is no longer able to withstand current air defenses, particularly those from China. The Air Force's request, which it has been pursuing since 2012, would leave our Q Block 40s in command of all high-altitude surveillance duties. However, Congress in the United States refused to allow the RQ-4 to be retired until Secretary of Defense Lyod Austin could certify that the new drone will be more cost-effective than the RQ-4 and that the disposal of the older drones will not interfere with combat and command's ability to carry out their duties. The replacement for the RQ-4 Global Hawk is on the way, but it could not even be operational until the end of this decade. General Nahum, however, remained absolutely quiet when asked about the drone's replacement. It is speculated that the U.S. Army will retire these drones in 2027. What are your thoughts about this drone? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.